Okay, well, we'll start the power phase of the vault by showing some relevant plant drills. The first drill is a three, three step plant drill. Stacy will start with her foot directly underneath her top hand like this and then take three big steps backwards and follow with an early plant stepping in. One, two, three. One, two, three. And putting the pole out in front of her. As Stacy does this, it's important that her pole goes out in front. Once again, starting with the pole directly underneath her. She takes three steps backwards. Three. Walks forward. The second one really pushes the pole ahead. Early plant. One, push, two, three. Three-step plant drill. The second drill we're going to use is the lift drill. We'll start with Stacy taking off right underneath in a position like this. I'll put my hand on her back and the other hand on her leg in here. And Stacy takes a step and providing a little bit of pressure. Now, we'll combine that with a three-step plant drill and Stacy will step back three steps like before and we'll have a little bit more of a dynamic takeoff. Hands go in the same spot. One, push. It's very important that the boulder stays square when they plant the pole. You can see that in this lift drill. On this first one, Stacy will try to stay as straight as she can. If she plants a little bit off to one side, one side or the other, she'll travel that direction. Mm -hmm. As she did there. And vice versa on the other side. One other valuable tool we have in training for the vault is a sliding box. It's used to practice the run and plant. You can use it anywhere and it's very, very easy to make. Another drill that we use with the sliding box involves planting the pole and getting the pole out ahead of you. We always want to reinforce that. On this drill, Stacy will pick up the pole. She's two steps away from the box. Before she starts to take her step onto her right foot, she's going to push the pole ahead. The push of the pole leads the vaulter in. This excel helps accelerate the last two steps. She pushes the pole ahead, steps, pole comes up. So everything is always working forward and up. And again, she's two steps away from the box, pulls up in front of her. Her left arm comes off her chest, push. The important part of this drill is letting the bottom arm lead the vaulter into the jump. Pole always stays ahead of the vaulter. One more time, Stacy, and, and pop the box. Another variation of the, this uh, two-step drill is providing a little bit of a runway into it. In this case, we'll use a six stride approach. The key marker is the second to the last stride. As you start that second to last stride, we'll watch to see the pole is pushed ahead. The touch is there, the pole is pushed ahead. In here, the pole is, is dramatically coming up, and then she jumps off the ground when she hits her takeoff mark. The sliding box can be used from any length of run. We've marked off a six stride run for Stacy. The, the box offers a little bit of resistance, so she needs to run in here and jump off the ground, pushing the box down the track. Very good. We use two training poles in our training. One pole is a soft, very flexible pole used for planting drills and takeoff drills. You don't rock back on this pole. It's made of fiber optics. It's, it bends very easily and it stays bent for quite a while without breaking. It's small in diameter and rather heavy. The second pole is more like a competition pole. It allows the vaulter to take short run vaults and they can go through a complete vault action, including the rock back and getting into a very vertical position. And because of the high volume of, of vaults it allows, it allows you to reinforce proper technique over and over again. One, two, three.
Another drill we do is the one arm drill. The vaulter hangs on with their top arm and it reinforces a long jump type of takeoff. The, the vaulter has to jump off the ground and has to have the pole out ahead of them. You also notice that the vaulter keeps the pole ahead and keeps their body, their lower leg, their takeoff leg behind. 